Good morning, it's Barbara. I was going to quick do my vlog before the lovely young ladies cleaning the house came downstairs, but I might have missed my window. We'll see. <laughs> Not looking so bad, but I did put my earrings on. Oh, good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. <laughs> put my earrings on because I have these little rubber, you know, plasticky things that I stick on the back so that I don't lose my earrings. And um, they were kind of all over my dresser. And only some of them work. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I had at least two working ones that I could find when they were finished. So that's the thinking behind that. So I'm doing this real quick. We'll see how that goes. But meanwhile, I wanted to show you how far I gotten on my bistro. Just some car shuffling has to happen so the electrician can leave. <laughs> it's been a busy morning and it's early-ish. <laughs> I'm not even late. Dogs are, the dogs are at camp. And there we go. So there's the front and there's the first sleeve. This is a three quarters length. I stopped here because I really want the length on the sweater. So I um, want to go further in the rest of the sweater before I decide on the length of the sleeves. But here's the second sleeve started. After I do the second sleeve down to 10 inches, then I'm going to do the collar. And then I'm going to start back on the body and see how it goes. But anyway, I'm making lots of progress. And this is going to be such a gorgeous, fun sweater to wear. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And so are some of you. The other thing I did yesterday, knit-wise, was I did a little swatch to understand the Sylvester. What exactly was going on with that? color or texture or whatever the heck it is. Well, it turns out it's mostly color, but it's going to also be texture too. Because the contrasting color is fingering, but the main color is worsted. And that's going to be end up with a little bit of texture. Oops, Rick here. Hold on. Okay, so the electric's done and Rick is gone. Dennis has taken the dogs to camp, so they're in camp. So we have the two lovely young ladies cleaning our house. <laughs> anyway, so you can hear the ladies with the vacuum. So I did a test to just see what the heck that, you know, the whole dealy with, with this sweater is. So turns out it's pretty much straight up mosaic. Except it's got this brioche stitch in the middle. It's got this, uh, yeah, it's a stitch they call a slip and yarn over, slip one and then yarn over and then, and then, and then do a brioche knit on the next row. And I'm like, wow, that's really, it feels like really complicated. Basically what it is, is catching the float in the back. Because I'm doing this and I'm like, but that, but the, but the contrast color isn't showing at all in the front. And of course I didn't read all the verbiage on the pattern, but apparently that brioche stitch is the stitch that they're putting in the back to catch the float because between the, um, there's four stitches between the contrast color stitch. So it's basically, you know, a line of four or five, five of the contrast and then random ones and then it lines up again. This is 14 rows of a 22 row pattern that I did. But I just wanted to see what the heck it was because, you know, I don't do brioche and whatever. So it turns out this was her way of catching the float in the back, which I thought was quite clever. My problem with this <laughs> sweater after doing this is, this is 14 rows. Now, I have garter stitch on the side, very, 
poorly managed garter stitch on the side. And it's very loose and whatever. So I did it in the round. I'm this this is not a real uh, swatch because this isn't the yarn I'm gonna be using. But anyway, look how wide <laughs> my garter stitch came off. I'm sorry. So I'm not showing it very well. But here's here's the garter stitch on the side, and here's the sweater. So basically there's so much slipping. Every contrast color row, you're slipping almost every stitch, except this, you know, one stitch every four, every fifth stitch is essentially knit. The rest of it is all slipped, which means that this 14 rows shows seven rows of knitting. What I'm trying to say is, it's going to take me twice as long to knit this sweater as it would normally because, I mean, it's a little bit like duplicate, um, not duplicate, uh, double knitting. It's a little bit like double knitting where you have to do every row twice. And I guess that's kind of what you do with brioche, right? You kind of do every row twice. Anyway, so it will be a lot more knitting when I'm done, but I am kind of loving it. And it is just a mosaic with a little bit of a twist to help you manage your floats. That's what, that's basically what happens. But this is the beginning of the pattern, the first 14 rows of a 22 row pattern. And it just repeats all the way around. And because it wants to keep in sync with the five stitch the five stitch um, pattern, whenever there are increases or decreases, it increases by five stitches or it decreases by five stitches. So it always is in pattern. I didn't do any decreases. I should. My problem is I have it on too short of a cord with too long of needles and it was really annoying to knit so I stopped. I really was just trying to see if I could do the, whatever that chart was the heck was doing and wanted to in a in a sweater and I do, so I'm really happy with it. So I will be going to my local yarn shop and picking a yarn. The other thing is I was a little disappointed. You can't really see the colors behind it as you have these strings, but this was done on a size seven needle. I might try it I, when I get when I get my actual yarn. I'm going to um, swatch it with both size seven and size eight just to see what I think. So a lot of a lot going on around here now. I guess I need to stop. But anyway, I wanted to show you. I'm very excited, and um, it's mosaic. And if you can do mosaic, you can do this with a with a cute little float catch in between, which I thought was very clever. Very clever. Anyway, too much commotion. I'm going to go. <laughs> and this is running up and down the steps. The vacuum is gone, and people are down here now, so I am going to get out of the way. <laughs> I will talk to you tomorrow. Please take good care of yourselves. Oh, and I planted my hyacinths before I even uploaded my video yesterday. So... I will show you a picture I took tomorrow because I'm not going to edit this. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, please, please take good care of yourselves. Please stay safe and stay sane.